All right, so 2024 has been a good year, right, for the gold crowd. They were pounding their chest. The Bitcoin crowd, that huge move, pounding their chest. Now, the silver crowd, they might be pounding their chest, but there's so few of them, we couldn't hear it anyway, right? But my next guest told you to buy silver, which is now up 70%. Take a look at this chart, folks. 70% since August of 2022. Joining me now, Market Gage Managing Director, Michelle Snyder. All right, Michelle, first of all, why has silver fared so well? And is it too late to buy? Well, to answer your first question, if I was bullish before, after listening to your last segment and the geopolitical concerns, I'm even more <laughs> bullish because that's been a big factor, right? So unless that fundamental change, to answer your second question, no, it's not too late. And then add to that, of course, the supply uh, and then the demand that is being put on it for AI and mining centers and data centers. And then, of course, even with alt energy, it's used in solar panels. So you've got a double edged sword with silver. You've got it benefiting from in the inflationary factors of geopolitical stress and you have it benefiting from a, a, being an industrial metal. So there, there you go. I don't think it's too late. It's not like Nvidia. It tends to look when it looks bad. It's a good buy. Right. When it starts to look really great, you start to see the liquidation come in. So you're going to have to play it differently than you would, say, a great growth stock. What about the relationship, silver to gold? You know, for a while, that, you know, that, that was always sort of a buying point because the relationship, the correlation used to be a lot tighter. Exactly. And actually, silver flipped to outperform gold really back sort of in February, March. And we've had little pockets of times where gold has rallied. But really, if you look at the gold chart, it's been very sideways. And the silver just made a nice pop in the last week going sideways. So there you go. I think you're going to continue to see that trend, which is, again, inflationary, of course, right. Not necessarily the inflation that people are looking at when they look at CPI this week. Hey, uh, real quick, I saw you like ARC. Um, a lot of folks have lost faith in Kathy Wood, not you. Well, I wouldn't exactly say it like that, but I knew you were going to ask me about that one because it is a surprise. Well, you know, essentially, I've waited and waited and waited, and I like this consolidation that that has had over 45 and now trading over 46. I think it has, from a technical standpoint, room to 60. And actually, I kind of like some of her holdings now that were so out of favor they're starting to look good again, obviously Tesla being at the top of the heap. So, yeah, I think you have a very low risk right. and you have a pretty good potential. All right. And hey, Michelle, we, we got to leave it there. Thank you so much. We'll give you more time next time. But congratulations. No one called silver when you were talking about it. All right, folks. Uh, Thank before you,